one word that has become a household name in the recent times artificial intelligence ai have you ever wondered why the ai which can trash the grandmasters easily in a game of chess fails miserably to replicate a simple human motion Moravec's paradox is a phenomenon that lies at the heart of computer science and artificial intelligence. The paradox, named after the renowned roboticist Hans Moravec, suggests that AI systems can perform high-level reasoning tasks much better than lower-level tasks like vision and motor control. Have you ever wondered why it's so easy for machines to do things we find really hard? Hey Siri. What's the square root of 5,697? The square root of 5,697 is approximately 75.4785. But so hard to do things we find easy. Hey Siri, knock knock. Knock knock. No, you say who's there. Nana. No, no. This simply means AI systems can think better than they can see or move. To understand why. Let's dive into the evolution of the eye. Over millions of years, as life transitioned from the ocean to land, eyes evolved to adapt to the new environment, developing advanced features to see better in different lighting conditions. Humans have incredible eyes. We can sense shapes, depth, and brilliant colors. But a hallmark of our vision is processing images from both eyes on both sides of our brain at the same time, something known as bilateral visual projection. All mammals are capable of this type of vision, but fish were thought to have a scaled back version. Visual information from one eye projects only to the opposite side of the brain. That led scientists to think that bilateral vision emerged more than 375 million years ago when fish moved from water to land. Such vision could have been an advantage to four-limbed tetrapods that hunted and lurked in the night. These intricate eye movements, involving a delicate balance of muscles and nerves, pose a greater challenge for AI to replicate. While AI can excel at tasks with well-defined rules and clear probabilities, like playing poker, however, AI struggles to assess the rich array of possibilities that our eyes effortlessly navigate. Researchers found we could trace our own complex eyes all the way back to early lamprey-like vertebrates who lived over 500 million years ago. Their eyes start to look more how we think of eyes. A lens forms from a thin layer of adapted epithelial cells covering the opening to keep out infection. They even have a retina and ocular muscles that allow for eye movement. These eyes would have been able to form a simple image over a broad range of wavelength. But there was a problem. These eyes evolved for living in water. Once our ancestors moved onto land, our eyes needed to evolve again, around 430 million years ago. According to a study published in the Journal of Experimental Biology, tetrapod eyes took on a more elliptical shape to compensate for seeing in the air rather than the light distorted water. And the development of evolution even decides where eyes are located. For instance, prey like deer tend to have eyes on either side of their heads so they can keep a watchful eye out over a nearly 360 degree area for a predator. And predators like wolves tend to have eyes on their front of their heads so they have depth perception. The outcome of Moravec's work has been a better understanding of the limits of AI systems and the challenges they face in mimicking the human brain. Meanwhile, the machines are still struggling to see or move, so maybe we need to teach them how to tell a joke or two, so at least they can make us laugh while we wait for them to catch up. With automation and machine learning on the rise, Moravec's paradox will continue to shape our thinking about AI for years to come. Let us conclude with a quote made by Moravec himself in 1988. Thank you once again for joining us on this AI-tastic adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for more fun explorations.